In this video, we're going to talk about SSL certificates, why they're important to your site, and how to identify whether or not your site is currently secure. Starting with probably the most important question, what is an SSL certificate? SSL certificates are used to secure your website and the data transmitted from it. Uh, normally used when somebody's taking payments through a website, submitting forms. People want to make sure that the data they're submitting, whether it be their credit card data, personal information, they want to make sure that that's transmitted in a secure fashion. SSL certificates provide that security. Now that said, even if your website's just an informational website and you're not taking payments, you don't have any forms on your site, you don't have anything to secure really, it's important to your site visitors because of one thing. And that'll bring us to the next question. Is your site secure now? Well, the quickest way to check is go ahead and click the link to your website and that'll open up in the browser. And this site is not secure. And you can see that here by saying not secure. Now this site currently doesn't have any forms. I'm not taking payments. Uh, there's really nothing to secure in terms of the content that's transmitted from it. However, if I want my site visitors to feel comfortable being on my website, I don't want it to say not secure next to my domain name. Now, once I've determined that my site's not secure, I'm gonna head back over to my dashboard and I can secure it from there. Go ahead and scroll back down to the SSL certificate panel, click on that, and then click the secure your site now button. And from here, I can do it on a monthly basis at $8 a month or save 50% off and do it on an annual basis at $48 per year. Go ahead and proceed to payment and your site will be secured within normally about five minutes. I've gone ahead and completed that process and secured this website. And to verify, we'll go over to the website, we'll refresh the page, and now you'll see the SSL secured lock icon next to your domain name, signifying that the domain name is now secure. Let's go ahead and click on that lock icon to get more information. You can see the connection is secure. You can get information about the certificate itself, the validity of it, view more details, has all kinds of information about when it was secure, when it expires, etc. And you're all set. Now next we'll go over one more scenario and that has to do with the content that's added to your website and how that can affect the security of your website. For example, if I was to add or embed a video or an image that was unsecure, not linking to a secured site, that would create an issue for how this lock is viewed. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that works. Go over to the dashboard, click to edit the website. And I'm just gonna embed an image. We'll go ahead and click insert HTML code. And I'll drop the image embed here. And you'll notice that the link to the image is HTTP, not HTTPS, which means that that image is not being served in a secured environment. I'm gonna click OK. Now you can see that it's there. Save the page. We'll go back over to the website and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. Now you can see the image, as far as the website's concerned, it's working great, but I no longer have my lock icon. Now why is that? Is my website no longer secure? Is the SSL certificate compromised? Well, not exactly. It really just has to do with that image. We'll go ahead and click the info tab, and it says your connection to this site is not fully secure. So if you see that, it's likely simply because you've added something that's not secure. I'd suggest going over the code on the website or checking anything recently added to make sure that that is in fact secure. To fix that, go ahead and we'll just delete that image, save the page, and when I go back, refresh that, you'll see that my lock icon is then displayed again. And that just about does it for a brief overview of adding an SSL certificate to your site, why it's important, and how to identify if you have an issue. If you have any other questions about SSL certificates or web starts in general, be sure to reach out and we'll be happy to help.